Hello, good morning everybody. So this week is a World Immunization Week. So I am going to share with you some of the very important aspects of the immunization. You all know immunization is the process of uh, immunizing your body or protecting your body with what we call vaccines. Vaccines can be live vaccines or attenuated vaccines, but now mostly it is a live vaccine and the vaccines have prevented so many deadly diseases right from uh, polio you know that but uh, this last week of april is considered to be the world immunization week that means you all should be aware of the vaccination programs and if any vaccines are left to be given to your children you have to be make sure that these vaccines are to be given the immunization schedule is uh, available everywhere it is available on the net you go and type on the immunization schedule for children it will come all the newborn children within 24 hours they should get bcg polio and hepatitis b vaccines at birth that means within 24 hours of the birth and i'm sure nowadays with most of the births are institutionalized or in the hospitals or in nursing homes your pediatrician or your gynecologist will ensure that you are getting the your baby is getting the right vaccines at the right time but it's always your duty and responsibility to poke or to probe the pediatrician or gynecologist whether the vaccines are given so within 24 hours bcg polio and hepatitis b vaccine need to be given then afterwards at 6 weeks 10 weeks and 14 weeks three doses of dpt and polio vaccines are given dpt means diphtheria pertussis and tetanus and in addition the polio vaccine though polio is almost eradicated uh, it's one of the success stories of indian uh, vaccination program where polio is completely eradicated but still polio is given as a um, <coughs> uh, preventive measure and in addition to the dpt and polio uh, your child should also get a rotavirus vaccine and pneumonia vaccine in three doses within these three time frames and afterwards nine months you will get a mmr vaccine and at one year you will get hepatitis a vaccine and 15 months you will get the second booster dose of the mmr mmr means mumps measles and you also get a chickenpox uh, vaccination at the 15 months and 18 months you will get the first booster of the dpt and polio and four years you will get the second and last booster of the dpt and polio at the age of two years you will get a typhoid vaccination so all these vaccinations are in the schedule given by the world health organization which you can get access to anywhere and know your schedules check your children's booster doses and if any missed please go back to your pediatrician and ask for the vaccination there are also some adult vaccines which many people do not know for example there is one dose of a tdap vaccine for people who did not receive dpt vaccine as a uh, vaccine in the childhood like that there is a hepatitis b vaccine influenza vaccine and also most important for the women there is hpv vaccine for the cervical cancer prevention so these are very important adult vaccines so be aware of the importance of the vaccination and be regular and sensitive to the schedules and follow your pediatrician advice or lock it in your smartphone reminders and see that the child is immunized properly because a very much immunized child is a happy child and healthy child wishing you and your children a very happy healthy life and future yours guru Aradi.